In the beginning, everything is marketing. You can have the best idea in the world and it doesn't mean anything if nobody knows about it. Could I just get a look at that? No, <laughs> no, why would you need to see it? You're the genius who invented the product in question. How did you find this YouTube channel initially? For this channel, it was most likely that you found Adventure Archives first. Were you planning a trip to Yosemite and found this one? Did YouTube randomly recommend you this one because you're interested in Japan? Was it this one? Did the title and the thumbnail intrigue you? It's not just the content of the video. It's, will this video show up in search results? Will YouTube recommend this video to people? You have to design a nice thumbnail, come up with a catchy title, and get people to actually click on the video. This is the marketing aspect. Dad, have you considered buying cheap commercial time on Channel 92? And all of that is fine. It's just the reality. But the thing is, I'm not that good at it. And even more importantly, I don't really enjoy that aspect of it. I don't find it fun to try and think of titles that will intrigue people, and I'm not that into taking photos either, so making thumbnails doesn't really delight me either. And I mean, boo-hoo, woe is me. This is the game, you gotta play it, and I agree. You know, the waiting game sucks. Let's play Hungry Hungry Hippos. But I've just been thinking lately, it's like this for everything. How many people have you swiped past because their profile pictures sucked? How many girls have swiped past me because my profile pictures sucked? Actually, I know the answer to that one. It's pretty much all of them. What makes a restaurant popular? What separates Miguel's Pizza, a veritable institution, from just another pizza restaurant? Ostensibly, it's the pizza. The true heart of the matter is the pizza. But their pizza is fine. So it's not just the pizza. It's the logo, the atmosphere, the word of mouth, the story around it. I will never let Andrew order another pizza again. <laughs> but if you're like me, you have a tendency to think that the only thing that should matter is the pizza. I am the pizza chef. I just wanna make you a pizza that will take you to another world. I don't wanna spend a single second on the box, the logo, the design, the room, the music that's playing in the restaurant, I just want to focus on that delicious pizza. And in my particular case, I want to say that the only thing that matters is the video, the feeling, the experience of watching it. But how many of the trappings around the video affect the experience of actually watching it? If we were just funded by some corporation, would you feel the same about it? Even if everything else was exactly the same? Would it feel like you were along with us on the trip? If you hadn't just randomly stumbled on this random channel with 5,000 subscribers, would you feel the same about it? Even the room you watched the video in, the circumstances of your life while you're watching it, the nostalgia you feel towards the locations that we've been to. No single aspect of any of that can really be ignored. Like what matters when playing a video game? Just the game, right? The feel of inserting a cartridge, the soft glow of a CRT. Now, I think that certain things do matter more than others. The content is always gonna matter more than the packaging, but it's probably more helpful to think of the marketing and the packaging is the front side of the coin, and then the content is the back side of the coin. And you know, it's a tale as old as show business itself. If only the right person could see what I have to offer. Again, ultimately what I'm trying to say is that the best idea in the world doesn't matter if you can't get the word out. And not everything is gonna be conducive to getting the word out there. Watching some dude do his laundry and take the trash out every day, doesn't sound like the most interesting thing. And it's not. But <laughs> if you could find a way to package that, I am positive there would be more people willing to watch that than what we'd think. So I guess in the end, all the parts matter, even if I don't really want them to. All I wanna do is focus on the meat, the video, the content, the thing that you do when you sit down and you put your eyeballs in front of the screen and you're like, yes, this is what I'm here for. I don't like worrying about, oh, how should I release this video? When should I release this video? How can I maximize my views? What time should I release it at? I am here for the art of the video. But all of the parts matter, and I guess in the end, all you can do is package up your gift to the world, whatever it happens to be, as best you can, and get it as front of many eyeballs as you can, and hopefully, one of those ideas makes it through. And if not, at least we'll have had some fun in the process. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome new subscribers from the Japan videos. 
I mostly just film at my house doing laundry, so if you've subscribed specifically for Japan, I understand if you want to leave. I was editing these Japan videos for the last two months. In the meantime, I filmed a little bit like... filmed a little bit of the progress of the editing. The editing for all of my videos is coming along very nicely. Okay, bit of a speed bump yesterday, but it is time to get back to work. I'm about halfway done with all the editing at this point. What did they say? Steady as she goes, Captain, that's what I'm trying to say. I filmed my typical post-run ramblings. More and more in shape, man. The winter of donuts is over, and it is now the winter of staying in shape and running. Now, we'll now do some push ups. And one of my viewers, he sent me this model Gundam that I've had for years. I randomly found that, put that together. My buddy Michael gave me this JoJo's Bizarre Adventure paper craft. I put that together. At some point I went to my friend's wedding and I filmed some driving shots. My buddy Tim B, the Texan camper, his wife gave me a piece of artwork that she makes to give to my mother. It was this one right here. And my mother had a Christmas party or something and all of her friends were commenting on how nice it was. So she sent another one. It is this beautiful piece right here. These are super cool. She has an Etsy shop. It is called Coral Bouquet Gallery. I will have a link in the description and on the screen, maybe as a pinned comment as well. These are just super nice. They got like this gloss on it. I don't know what she puts on it, lacquer or something. Nice. So anyways, the vlog is back. Like I said earlier, welcome to all the new subscribers from the Japan videos. If you want travel content specifically, you should probably subscribe to my main channel, which is Adventure Archives. I do that with my cousins and my friend Thomas. We travel all over the place, make videos of that. You're gonna get that type of content exclusively over there. Over here, you're gonna get a lot more daily vlogs, but even more than that, I'm gonna start focusing on these video essay type of videos because these I really enjoy making. Like I have so much stuff to say, whether it's actually worth anything, who knows, I'll let you guys be the judge, but I've got stuff to say. And what stopped me before from making these was doing the daily vlog and working on Adventure Archive. It just wasn't enough time for everything. And so instead of doing daily vlogs, I'm actually gonna take the time, write these scripts out, make a good video, you know, say what I wanna say. Because my vlogs have always been just kind of saying the things that have been on my mind. But I can do that with a well-produced video essay instead. And I can actually market those, speaking of marketing. I actually have some sense of how I could title them and thumbnail them to where people would actually watch. It remains to be seen if that's actually the case, but uh, I'll probably do the same format where I do a video essay at the beginning and then some vlog footage at the end. Anyways, thank you for watching. More videos coming soon. Uh, hope you have a good day, et cetera. I forgot how to end these. What do I do? I just say thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Did YouTube, did YouTube randomly, randomly,